Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can do a cinematic lighting inside Unreal Engine. Yes, today's video is going to be a Unreal Engine video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have my scene set up and before starting, let me show you what I am using. So for today, I am using a latest asset which is carpenters workshop environment and this is free on fab and in this particular asset again this is a very good asset you can go and you can download and you can practice along so in this particular asset what i have did i have added one statue as you can see over here which is a very good statue and to compensate my scene i have added few more assets of the same material right so if i have to show you material so probably i can show it to you it's a pretty basic material which i've created just a simple marble texture and i have added few subsurface and subsurface controls and pretty basic setup i have used right so this asset is provided by one of my good friend named Samir Sanishar. Again, he's a veteran in this field and he is very good in Blender and so many softwares, right? So if you want to learn from him, you can go over here and you can check his YouTube channel, which is Learn and Inspire. I will give link in the description. I'll definitely recommend to follow his channel and he is having lots of lots of videos. I am personally following his videos as well. So if you can see over here, lots of sculpting, lots of uh, character creation. If you can see, this is very good video. You can go. This is again very good. Same with same asset. Uh, so many, so many, so many videos. You can figure it out. Uh, very stylized character as well. You can see. So some substance painter work. So lots of work he has uh, done till date. And I'll definitely recommend just go and just follow his channel. And definitely you will learn great things from him. Right. Let's start how I achieve this look and feel if, if I have to show you. So again, every lighting is changed. Lighting scenario has been changed and I did lighting as per my requirement, right? So if you can see, I have changed lighting. So let's start how I achieved uh, this information or this lighting condition, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going over here and I have created levels. So I'm going to switch it off. And as I'm going to do, uh, you can easily see there is no light. And also what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new level, which will be an empty level. And I'm going to name it lighting underscore YT. I just saved it, right? So my active or level is lighting YT. Whatever I'm going to add, it will be or uh, added automatically in this particular level, right? So first thing first, whenever I used to start lighting, I always used to start with my HDRI backdrop, right? So I'm going over here and in lighting, I'm going to take HDRI backdrop. If you are not able to figure it out, HDRI backdrop here, what you have to do, just go over here in plugin and just type HDRI. So you need to switch it on and you have to restart the engine right so i'm going over here and i'm going to add hdra backdrop like this and automatically you can find out i am having one sky sphere with hdri also in outliner i'm going to right click and move to lighting yt because i love to arrange my stuffs like this so I'm going over here again and first thing first, what I'll do, I'll go over here and I will set my size to 1500 or 2500, whatever needed. And I'm having a soft lighting and let's go over here inside. And if you can easily see, I'm not having any light inside. Yes, because I need to change few things. I don't want this cube map. So I have downloaded multiple cube maps in uh, from uh, internet. I'll go over here and might be I'll use this, right? So I'm going to use this light. So just select over here and I'm going to uh, apply it. Definitely it will be a very moody lighting kind of stuff, right? But you do need not to worry. I'm going to change few more things. Also, I'll go over here in my details panel over here. And I can select skylight and over here I'm going to select SLS specified cube map and also I will apply 
this thing over here so after that i'm going to select my cine camera actor 3 and if you can see i am not having proper lighting right need not to worry i'll go over here and in my hdri backdrop over here i am going to my skylight and probably i will do might be uh, like intensity to 10 so if you can see i am having few things but some jittering is going on i'll show you wh why it's happening because i need to lower down my hdri backdrop right so i'll do this and probably that flickering will go away right also after hdri backdrop what i used to do i used to add a post process volume because i want to control things in a different way i'll hit g on keyboard just to enable my game mode so by hitting g on keyboard you can enable or disable your game modes and also in post process volume i am going to hit unbound so in finite extent unbound i'll check it on because i want my post process to effect everywhere right and after that i'll go over here in exposure mode and i will select metering mode um this will good for me and also i'll go to min and max and probably i'll type 8 and 8 so i don't want any kind of uh, a light changes so i'm put keeping my minimum and maximum ev to 10 and as i did that thing i have to go over here and also i will move it to lighting yt and as I did this, I have to go to my lighting and what I need to do just I need to increase my intensity might be 1000 or uh, might be 1500. So 1500 is uh, fair enough like 2500. I'll start with 2500 and if needed, I'm going to change it anyway, right? So this is a base start I have did. Also what I'll do, I'll go to HDRA backdrop and I might start increasing my intensity like 150 so that I can see some outside as well, might be 300. So later on, I'll change it. So I'm having a very smooth kind of lighting. After that, I always used to add my directional light, right? So I'll go over here and I will go to light and I'll pick my directional light like this, right? So this is my directional light. And also what I'll do, I'll go over here and might be I'll type 3000 just to see what I'm getting. And also I will hit E on keyboard and I'll start rotating it so that I can have my light coming from window. And also you can easily see I'm not getting that light rays. I'll show you why. First thing first, I want my light to hit her leg. Might be like this. A little bit of this. Not exactly. Might be something like this. Later on, I'll change it. Just I want to add light rays. First thing first, I'll move it to my lighting setup. And after that, I'll go over here and I will add exponential height fog. Right. So I'll add exponential height fog. And in exponential height fog, I'm going to switch on volumetrics. Right. So as I'm going to add volumetrics, it will again uh, start adding volumetrics. And also I will move that thing to my lighting and I'll go over here and I'll select my exponential height fog and I'll make sure my volumetrics are on and I'll go to directional light and just to see in volumetrics, I'll type 500. Just see what's what we are getting. So of course, this is too much. So might be I'll add 10, uh, might be 25. So now I'm having something over here. Can you see that? So it's coming pretty nice. It's just a good start. And if also I can go and rotate my scene, if you can see, I'm having lights from this window as well. Right. Isn't it great? So this is something I'm getting. Let me go through my camera angle. So this is a very good start. But if you can see, I'm not having any light over here, any light over here or my objects are in shadow. So I need to work out on those shadows as well. Right. So what I'm going to do also, I will go to post process volume and in post process volume, I will type shadow 
and I will switch on shadow contrast and might be 0.8 I am going to start with. So as I am going to add 0.8 to my shadow contrast, what will happen? Suddenly you will see your shadow will little receive lights, right? So that's something we can uh, starting off. If needed, I can come and you can I can change it anytime, right? So what else I want? I want a fill light which will fill my entire thing, right? To achieve that, what I can do, I can go to a directional light. I'm not suggesting it. This is the only way, but there are multiple ways to do that. I'll go to directional light and might be I'll go over here and indirect lighting might be I'll change to like uh, five. So if I'm going to change indirect indirect lighting to five, but it's not looking great because my everything is coming to light, right? So I'll keep it one only and what I will do, I will start adding more lights. So I'm going to add one light which will create some fill, right? Okay, so I'll go over here and I'll go to lights and I will add one rect light, right? So I'll hit G again just to see what I'm getting. And just I'm going over here and I'll switch on my snapping, rotation snapping, and I'll rotate it to 180 degree. And might be I'm going over here and let's see 1500, right? And also what I'll do, I will place this thing over here. And what I can do, let me place it a little behind. And what I will do, I'm going over here and I'm going to increase my source width and source height like this something like this and if i'm going to see my camera angle and i can see i'm not getting anything like i will do 5000 just to see what i'm getting again i'm not getting anything because my attenuation radius is not that great so i'll increase my attenuation radius something like this and if i'm going to switch off this light if you can see i'm having a very subtle kind of lighting effect but it's too much might be i'll use 3000 uh, or 2500 pretty subtle and also i'll try to add some orange light of stuff because some white light is coming from my windows also just i'll go right click and i'll move it to my lighting and i'll go over here and i'll select my directional light and might be i can add some blue to my light not too much a little blue also, if you can see, I'm having a very dark place over here. So what I will do just to fix it, I'm going over here and I'm going to take a light called spotlight. And if you are getting these kind of cross, just make sure your light is movable. And I'm going over here and I'm going to place my light somewhere around my main character. Again, this is not a only way to do that, but I am following these kind of steps to do my lighting. You can explore your own lighting style and might be I'll do like 1500. So if you can see, it's not looking good because yeah, I need to focus in these areas. And also what I'll do, I'll increase attenuation radius a little and also I will increase my falloffs like this and if i think it's too much might be i can use 800 not that much hit g so i'm having some sort of light right also what i'm going to do i'm going to add some kind of rim because my character is not looking that great right so what i'll do i'll go over here and i will add another rect light you can use any light if you want. So I'm going to use another rect light and I will start placing it as per my requirement. So hit G on keyboard and you have to make sure it's movable. You have to rotate it, right? And just to see, I'm going to change intensity to 2000 just to see what I'm getting. So I think already I rotated that thing. So accidentally I wrote it in another way and what I will do I will start placing my light like this and 
also i will do this just for convenience i will change bond or angle and now i'll start placing my light like this and let's see probably from more topish so again placing light is very important you can experiment however you want i have done this scene so i know where to place my light i'll go over here and if i can see i am easily seeing my light is visible so i'll do this and might be i'll like this and i will rotate it hit f1 keyboard just to focus and i will start rotating it so that my character is in focus now suddenly you can see my scene has been changed and also i'll do one thing i'll select this right click move to lighting yt and i'll go over here and i'll type volumetrics and i will start using cast volumetric shadow because i want if anything coming in between my lights it it should stop light and i will add a uh, volumetric might be 25 it's too much i think 15 also to compensate my scene what i'm going to do see if you can see over here i don't have much break up over here so i'll go and i'll take a light i'll take a spotlight i'll hit g on keyboard and i will start putting my this light and if i'm going to see i'm having a light kind of spot over here so it will be easier for me to place that thing and you need to figure it out from where you can add a light source and surprisingly this is a good light source and if i can see over here there should be something on my table let me switch it off can you see that now i am having a better break up and might be i will add some orange light because white light is coming from my windows and also if needed i can add some fog and all but nevertheless so easily you can see my this composition has started taking shape and if i want to do something more i'll just select this i'll go over here and add it to this thing and i will go to my lighting setup and i'll go to post process volume and also i'll start tweaking my color corrections like i go over here and in color grading i'll go to might be shadows and in shadows i am going to use my gain and gamma and i'll start adding a little colors to my shadows like this if you can see and also i'll go to global and i will add some tint to my shadows or mid tone and also i'll add a orange kind of effect it's it's all up to us also if if needed i can add some some more lights and to uh, to hit this area again it's all up to you but i have showed you a way to do this thing very quickly right so as i mentioned that already i have done this scene and also again i am working still working on this scene and hopefully as time passes i will add some more detail to it right but i will suggest you to spend good time on doing lighting doing mood scene setup and to achieve whatever you want right so again i'm going over here in level i'm going to switch it off my this level and i'll go and switch on my previous level and also i'll make sure this is current level so as you can see i have added lots of detail lots of soft lighting and i had focused my main character in this particular scene so i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new inside unreal engine and if you want me to create more unreal engine videos please don't forget to comment in comment box so i hope this video is helping you and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day